Spanish flu, also known as the Great Influenza Epidemic or the 1918 Influenza Pandemic, was an exceptionally deadly global influenza pandemic caused by the H1N1 influenza virus. The earliest documented case was March 1918 in Kansas, United States, with further cases recorded in France, Germany and the United Kingdom in April. Two years later, nearly a third of the global population, or an estimated 500 million people, had been infected in four successive waves. Estimates of deaths range from 17.4 million to 100 million, with an accepted general range of 25 to 50 million, making it one of the deadliest pandemics in human history. The name, Spanish flu, is a misnomer, rooted in historical othering of infectious disease origin, which is now avoided. The pandemic broke out near the end of World War I, when wartime censors suppressed bad news in the belligerent countries to maintain morale. But newspapers freely reported the outbreak in neutral Spain. These stories created a false impression of Spain as the epicenter. So press outside Spain adopted the name, Spanish, flu. Limited historical epidemiological data make the pandemic's geographic origin indeterminate. With competing hypotheses on the initial spread, most influenza outbreaks disproportionately kill the young and old, with a higher survival rate in between. But this pandemic had unusually high mortality for young adults. Scientists offer several explanations for the high mortality, including a six-year climate anomaly affecting migration of disease vectors with increased likelihood of spread through bodies of water. The virus was particularly deadly because it triggered a cytokine storm, ravaging the stronger immune system of young adults. Although the viral infection was apparently no more aggressive than previous influenza strains, malnourishment, overcrowded medical camps and hospitals, and poor hygiene, exacerbated by the war, promoted bacterial superinfection, killing most of the victims after a typically prolonged deathbed. The 1918 Spanish flu was the first of three flu pandemics caused by H1N1 influenza virus. The most recent one was the 2009 swine flu pandemic. The 1977 Russian flu was also caused by H1N1 virus. But it mostly affected younger populations. The ongoing pandemic of COVID-19, which began in December 2019 and is caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, is the deadliest respiratory virus pandemic since Spanish flu due to its spread worldwide and high death toll. This pandemic was known by many different names, some old, some new, depending on place, time, and context. The etymology of alternative names historicizes the scourge and its effects on people who would only learn years later that invisible viruses caused influenza. This lack of scientific answers lead the Sierra Leone Weekly News to suggest a biblical framing in July 1918, using an interrogative from Exodus chapter 16 in ancient Hebrew. One thing is for certain. The doctors are at present flabbergasted. And we suggest that rather than calling the disease influenza they should for the present until they have it in hand. Say man who. What is it? Single quote quote. Outbreaks of influenza-like illness were documented in 1916-17 at British military hospitals in Etaples, France, and just across the English Channel at Aldershot, England. Clinical indications in common with the 1918 pandemic included rapid symptom progression to a dusky heliotrope cyanosis of the face. This characteristic blue-violet cyanosis in expiring patients lead to the name Purple Death. The Aldershot physicians later wrote in The Lancet, the influenza pneumococcal purulent bronchitis we and others described in 1916 and 1917 is Fundamentally the same condition as the influenza of this present pandemic, purulent bronchitis, is not yet linked to the same A, H1N1 virus. But it may be a precursor. In 1918, epidemic influenza. Many alternative names are exonyms in the paradigm of making new infectious diseases seem foreign. A form of xenophobia. This pattern was observed even before 1889 to 1890 pandemic also known as the Russian flu, where the Russians already called epidemic influenza the Chinese Qatar. The Germans called it the Russian pest.
while the Italians in turn called it the German disease. These epithets were reused in the 1918 pandemic, along with new ones. Outside Spain, the disease was soon misnamed Spanish influenza. In a June 2, 1918 the Times of London dispatch titled, The Spanish Epidemic, a correspondent in Madrid reported over 100,000 victims of the unknown disease, clearly of a gripple character, without referring to Spanish influenza, directly. Three weeks later the Times reported that, everybody thinks of it as the Spanish influenza today. Three days after that an advertisement appeared in the Times for formament tablets to prevent Spanish influenza. When it reached Moscow Pravda announced, Ispanka is in town, making the Spanish lady another common name. The OUTB 